Let's say that you need to merge or combine two or more columns or cells in an Excel worksheet, such as in this example I've set up with columns A and B, where we want to combine the first and last names. We're going to use the CONCAC built-in function. To do this, left-click on the answer cell. Here, cell C2, and then type in an equal sign. Next, type in the letters C-O-N, and a drop-down box will appear. In the box, left-double-click on CONCAT. From here, left-click on the first cell to be merged, cell A2, and then type in a comma. Next, we need to put in a delimiter, or a separator, to go between the text strings of the cells. To do this, I'm going to type in quotation marks, then a space, then another quotation marks. So Excel is reading what is between these quotations, which is the space, and then we type in another comma. From here, left-click on the second cell to be merged, cell B2. And then to finish, type in a close parentheses, and now we can hit the Enter key, and it's complete. I'm going to go to the bottom right-hand corner of cell C2 and left-click and hold and drag down to quickly finish the list. We're not quite finished yet, though. If I delete columns A and B, you see we get an error message in the merged cells. I'm going to hit Ctrl-Z to undo this. To avoid this, we need to left-click and drag and highlight the merged cells we just created. Then right click on the highlighted cells, and in the pop up box, left click on copy. From here, we need to again right click on the highlighted cells, and this time left click on paste values. Now we can delete columns A and B, and the merge is complete. One other quick example this is a list of phone numbers that is entered into three different columns. In cell D6, I have the final formula typed in. This time the formula is referencing three cells, A6, B6, and C6, which you can do. And between the quotation marks is not a space, but a dash for between the numbers. I'll hit enter and we have our desired result. Again, I'm gonna use the fill handle, then I'm gonna highlight, then copy, and then paste the values as you see here, And then to finish, I'll delete the data in columns A, B, and C. And we now have our merged columns completed. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.